There are some cities which refuse to lay down. They possess a certain spirit which can push through the rubble of history's most turbulent times to grow, flourish and flower. The German city of Frankfurt is one such city. For centuries, Frankfurt has been one of Europe's most important and enduring trading capitals. Despite the history of fires, plague, occupation and war, it continues to rise. Frankfurt today is home to the European Central Bank, the German stock exchange and an airport which handles almost 60 million travelers a year. Yet surprisingly, it's relaxed too, and a place where tradition and beauty are lovingly cultivated and enjoyed. This balance of dynamism and tradition is best exemplified in the city's architecture. Frankfurt is often called Manhattan due to its position on the Main River and the skyline that often feels more American than European. Yet, the city, which was once home to one of the most glorious medieval centers in Europe, still nurtures its proud heritage through rebuilding and restoration projects. Despite its stature as a financial giant, Frankfurt remains surprisingly compact. Most of its attractions are clustered close to the city center, making the city perfect for exploring on foot or by bicycle. Cross the Eiserner Steg, the city's beloved pedestrian bridge into Frankfurt's ancient heart, the Römerberg. Since the 9th century, this medieval square has witnessed the very best and worst of times, from fairs, tournaments and coronations, to executions and firestorms. After being devastated by Allied bombs in World War II, many of the square's most important buildings have been lovingly restored. Overlooking the square is the Römer, which served as Frankfurt City Hall for over 600 years. Just across the square rise some of Frankfurt's iconic half-timbered houses, as well as the spire of Old St. Nicholas Church, which miraculously survived the almost total destruction of the Old Town. From the Römerplatz it's time to head deeper into the Old City. Whichever direction you take, Frankfurt's historical treasures await. Just a three-minute walk to the east, visit the city's cathedral, the Kaiserdom, in all its red sandstone and golden glory. Just to the west of Römerplatz is the cradle of German democracy, the Paulskirche, where the country's first elected parliament met in 1848. While just two blocks further is another of the country's most important birthplaces, the Goethe House. It was here, in 1749, just as the clock struck midday, that one of Germany's greatest writers and poets, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, came into the world. From the Goethe family home, head north to the Hauptwache. Turn left to admire the symphonic curves of Frankfurt's historic opera house. Or turn right and head into the future, along the Zeil, Germany's equivalent to Fifth Avenue. Just a few blocks away, explore the sometimes perplexing world of modern art at the MMK, a triangular-shaped gallery that Frankfurt has referred to as the piece of cake. While down by the river, at the historical museum, the story of Frankfurt unfolds in all its triumphant and trying chapters. When it comes to Germany's great museum cities, Frankfurt is one of the greats. We cross the river to its southern embankment, the Museumsufer. In the 18th century, the city's elite built elegant villas across from the Old Town. Today, many of these villas house specialist museums, such as the German Film Museum. Here you can follow the history of film 
from the earliest optical entertainments to all the elements that go into crafting the blockbusters of today. Just next door, at the German Architecture Museum, spent an hour or two exploring the thousands of plans and hundreds of scale models which have helped shape the world's skylines. Lovers of fine art are also catered for at the Städel Museum, a world-renowned gallery which houses treasures from many of Europe's classical and modern masters. Frankfurters have turned relaxation into an art form too. Whether it's just soaking up the sunshine on the banks of mine or sharing a few bambles of apple wine with friends. Just behind the museum embankment, lose yourself in Old Sachsenhausen, where you'll find narrow lanes lined with traditional houses and some of the city's coziest bars and apple boy pubs. Once you've replenished your energy, hop on a tram to the city's northwest and spend a few hours walking with all the creatures great and small at the Naturmuseum Senckenberg. Most popular of all are the remarkable remains of 15 million year old dinosaurs, many of which were unearthed just 22 miles away at the famous Messel fossil pit. Just to the north of the Natural History Museum, unwind amid the forests, floral displays and lakes of the Frankfurt Botanical Gardens. Then enter the extraordinary world of tropical and subtropical plant life at the Palmengarten. Seventy years ago, as the city smoldered from war, few could have imagined that these greenhouses would ever again see such beauty that this city would ever again experience such peace and prosperity. But prosper it has, and now this prosperity is a bounty that the entire world can share.